Hey guys, it's James, and this week for a little bit of a change, we're bringing you a short tutorial on how to add skins to your JTAG or RGH with Freestyle Dashboard. This can be done with any of the versions, providing you have the suited skin for that version of Freestyle Dashboard, and this time I'm using Freestyle Dashboard 3, which is the latest. If you don't already have that, the download link is in the description. As you can see here, I'm using the default skin, as I don't have any added yet, because I've just installed it, but let's change that by adding some more. So you want to jump on your PC, if you don't already have some skins downloaded, you can find them in the description. When you have them, right click and extract them with WinRAR. Again, if you don't have that, you can find it in the description. Once it's extracted, you need to open your save device and go to the Freestyle folder, then open Skins. Drag your downloaded skin file in there and give it time to transfer. If you don't have this folder in your device, then you have most likely installed it elsewhere, such as Xbox 360 hard drive when you installed Freestyle 3, and you need to transfer that manually through the file explorer on Freestyle or the XEX menu. So once it's transferred, jump back into your Xbox and go to the skins menu, and your new skin you downloaded will show up with a preview on the right of whatever it looks like. Select it and press B to go back, and it will ask you to reboot. Choose to reboot, then let it load again, and there you have it, your new Freestyle Dashboard skin. Some of these skins are really amazing, so make sure you check them all out in the description, and visit our gaming community at GameTux.com. You can also tell us what JTAG and IGH tutorials you want in the thread below, as we'll be bringing one every single week. That's all for now, but until next time, this is James from GameTux.